what is up guys it is commander alex here today and i have something a little bit different for you guys so this game is called vain glory uh it's a game made by super evil megacorp yes that is their real name uh they actually have that as a name for their company pretty ba not gonna lie but uh getting back into the actual video here basically what this is is just the first moba on an actual um on on a mobile device so you guys have probably played league of legends if you haven't it's a great game i played a lot i really like it so i really suggest trying that out uh dota 2 i think was before that and uh there's obviously been like warcraft and things just even before that but uh there's never been a true moba on mobile there there have been attempts i'm, I'm not going to say that there haven't been attempts but um i don't think that there's really been one done to its full extent and uh, definitely not as well as this game. So again, this is Vain Glory, and we're just going to be going through the tutorial here. Um, I have played League of Legends quite a bit, so I'm probably going to do all right. I don't think I'll uh, have too many issues. Um, obviously, at the top, it's going to say poor network connection for me. That's because their servers are in Singapore, and you know I'm not in Singapore. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of an issue, but obviously as the game goes global, it's it's going to get better because they'll have better server support and uh, people won't have any issues with their connection because obviously I'm getting uh, over 300, uh, I think that's megabytes per second. I'm not quite sure what MS stands for, um, but I'm, I'm getting a pretty good rate there. So uh, it's not in my end that's having the lag. So just looking at this video here, you're going to see that I am playing a ranged champion. Um, he, I think his name's it, it's something like Arabic, not like actually written in Arabic, but uh, it sounds sort of Arabic. Um, anyway, we're going to be taking on this guy right here. He looks pretty easy, although he is uh, pretty cool looking. He's got like a chain hammer sort of thing with an axe on the other hand, on the other end and uh, pretty scary looking. But I have this rapid fire ability, so I'm just going to try and pressure him down. But he's going to run away because he's just a little pussycat. And uh, we're just going to clear this wave right here. So... Um, if you guys don't know, clearing wave is basically when you take out the enemy's minions. So you're going to want to last hit minions, which is when you take out the uh, tiny little bit of XP left on a minion's health bar. And what that is going to do is it's actually going to give you the kill for that minion and uh, give you the gold for that kill. So uh, you can buy different power-ups and uh, different weapons and things in this game to improve your champion's strength, defense, um, abilities, all that good stuff. And as you level up by killing things, you unlock new abilities and level up your abilities so you see right there i got the achilles heal ability and what that's going to do is it's basically just going to do some burst damage if i can get it on him but it looks like he ran away because again he's just a little pussycat um obviously he's not actually being a pussycat but uh this is the tutorial so they're not going to actually have any real danger of taking me out so right here you see um, I'm just going to throw down a few different shots right there, but it looks like the turret, which is that, well, turret looking thing, is going to lock onto me. So that's going to do some pretty crazy damage to me, which is a little bit disappointing, uh, but it looks like I can come back in here on the right hand side and start pressuring down again. So he's going to come over, uh, he's not actually going to engage, but he is going to distract me enough to let another turret hit take me. And uh, now I'm getting a little bit worried. So what I'm going to have to do is stick back here. I don't want another turret hit because that's going to take me down to almost no HP. So I'm just going to hang back here and uh, hopefully I can sneak in some lucky skill shots on this guy. Uh, so right here we're just going to again do those last hits. That's going to get us a bunch of gold. And uh, I hadn't really experienced the shop of this game. Um, if you don't know League of Legends, if you don't buy like tools in League of Legends, you're completely screwed. And the reason I'm like relating this all to League of Legends is because that's what I play the most. Uh, but obviously there's other MOBAs out there that are um, maybe better, maybe worse. I'm not going to make any assumptions there. But moving on to the actual game here, what I can do is use my recall ability, which looks... Uh, sort of sort of similar to League of Legends, uh, but I guess that's that's to be expected. So we're going to go into the shop here. Turns out you can't actually buy anything in the shop unless you're on the altar. So uh, I was a little bit confused there. Uh, eventually at the bottom I saw must be near a shop to buy. So I uh, got out just in a little bit here. Let's see when we when we get out. Uh, I was a little dumb, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, looks like I finally realized it right there. So I'm going to go back to the spawn platform right here. And now I can buy some stuff in the shop. So I'm going to pick up that Lucky Strike, which is going to just improve my uh, attack speed, which is really important with ranged champions. Uh, if you guys 
don't know ranged usually don't have that much damage so you want to max out their uh, attack speed so that they can at least um, focus down enemies quickly and then you can work on uh, improving their damage so right here it looks like the enemy's champion is actually doing some damage to my turret so i'm going to want to get out there really quickly um, I don't think my turret's going to go down anytime soon because they do have full health compared to the enemy's turrets, which have barely any health. And uh, obviously the only reason for that is that I'm playing the tutorial at the moment. But uh, it looks like my minions and turret actually got the enemies away from their base, and now we can take advantage of this. So what we're going to want to do is obviously clear the wave right here, pick up some nice CS, and now if we get a uh, good gank on this guy, obviously it's not a gank because it's only me, uh, but when I say that, I just mean sort of like getting a flank on him. If I can do that, I might be able to get in some of these Achilles heel shots on this guy and hopefully take down his HP a little bit. So right here, again, just going to clear that wave, but it looks like he's going to stick in the back and not give himself up to any hits. So uh, I'm just going to clear out that wave, and now we're going to get pretty close to him. So right there, I'm going to get close. I drop that Achilles heel. It does a good deal of damage, but uh, I don't want to chase because that turret is going to go down pretty quickly there. So it looks like the turret's going to get so close to going down, but uh, I wasn't really paying attention to it, and I decided not to go in for it. So uh, eventually right here, we're going to have to clear this wave, and we should go in for the turret fairly soon. So he's just going to sort of dance around the turret here, not really doing much. Um, and it looks like eventually he's going to come out for a, uh, a little bit of an attack, but he goes right back in and I get out before the turret can take any hits on me. So pretty good raid. Um, now we're going to move on to the, the middle here right here. And uh, what we're going to be doing is just, again, clearing that wave. And then we're probably going to try and sneak in here because uh, I really want to at least get one kill in this game because it's, it's not really any fun if you don't get at least one kill in a game. So uh, I'm going to upgrade my... Uh, I guess it wouldn't be a, an E. Uh, if you guys don't know, in League of Legends, you have Q, W, E, and R, which are your uh, four main abilities. In this game, you only have three abilities. You have your, uh, I'm going to call them Q and W, and then you have your R. So R is going to be your ultimate, and uh, that's going to be that dragon thing at the bottom there. Haven't unlocked that yet. I get that at level six, but it looks like since uh, he knows I don't have that, he's going to try and pressure me down, but I am going to do some serious damage to him, and he's going to back off. So... We can now clear out this wave right here and move on to hopefully taking out that first turret. All right, so guys, uh, while we're just sort of playing through this, I just want to get a little bit of feedback from you guys. Tell me if you like the game. Uh, sorry about that. I'm on my dad's iPad and he's a writer, so he's always on on that uh, good we good weeds, <laughs> good reads, good reads, guys, not weeds. Uh, but anyway, he's always on that, so uh, that's why you see those notifications. Anyway, as I was saying. Um, if you guys like this, remember to like and uh, comment that you like it because I'm really going to be trying to get some feedback from you guys to see if you want me to add this as like a uh, weekly or maybe not daily, but uh, like a two or three times a week sort of thing or like a once a month sort of thing. Uh, just, just tell me how much you like this and uh, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. So right here, it looks like he's going to get caught out. And uh, I'm actually going to chase him back towards my turret. So I got a really nice flank on him, and he does not have the damage to be able to take me on right now. Plus, this is the tutorial, so he's just sort of going to run away no matter what. And uh, we're actually going to chase him right into the, my turret. So at this point, he can't really go out of it, or he's going to get shot by the turret. So uh, he's going to try and back, but it looks like we're going to take him out pretty easily. And we're going to pick up 170 gold from that. So uh, we're now at uh, around 2,000 gold, so we should be going back pretty soon. Uh, but it looks like I'm actually going to push and hopefully take another turret before that time. So right here we're going to use our W and we're just going to take out uh, this minion wave quite quickly. And uh, we're also going to upgrade our Q, which is hopefully going to give us more burst damage when he comes back. So right here, we're going to target down that turret. One shot is going to take it out. Obviously these are very, very weakened compared to what they normally are. Uh, but that's just because, you know, that's, that's how the tutorials always work. They make it nice and easy for you dry in and then crush your dreams but anyway we're going to get a skill shot on him right there not really a skill shot um, but anyway we're going to get a shot on him right there and then chase him into his base now if you guys haven't already realized i'm guessing you probably have uh, but if you haven't this is a one lane game so um, in league of legends and in most mobas there's three lanes and you have five players in this game, there is only one lane, so uh, it really changes the tactics. You have the jungle at the bottom, so you can still get a lot of cool flanks. Uh, I don't really go into the jungle in this video, but 
if you guys don't know, the jungle is basically where there's monsters and things that can um, really just sort of change the tide of the game. They give you boosts, they give you a bunch of CS, and uh, while I'm talking about this, I'm actually just getting pounded by that terror right there. I was actually a little bit afraid I was going to die, but it looks like I'm going to get out with enough HP to turn on this wave and uh, clear it pretty quickly right here. So um, I'm now up to 3,000 gold, and I really should be going back pretty soon. Um, I always forget to go back to the shop, but uh, I don't really think it's going to matter at this point just because all the different turrets and the uh, the crystal is down to very, very low health. So if you guys don't know the crystal, uh, that's the equivalent of the Nexus in uh, League of Legends, and that's basically your main objective. If you destroy the crystal, then you win the game. And right here, what this little like wall thing that I ran into was, that's basically the enemy's spawn. So I can't go into their spawn because, I mean, you just don't want people spawn killing. Um, so that's going to give them a little bit of a barrier, but he's going to have to wait behind there because he does not have the damage to take me on. And again, this is the, the uh, what is this called? Tutorial. Sorry, guys. I'm having a hard night for commentating, but it looks like we're going to run in here, take down those two turrets, and now we're just going to focus down that uh, crystal. So that's going to be game, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Remember to tell me if you liked it. And uh, yeah, just like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Become a lieutenant today, and I will see you guys in the next video.